हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय मैथमेटिक्स क्लास इन दिस क्लास वी विल लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड द रूट ऑफ नंबर्स नंबर्स विच आर नॉट परफेक्ट स्क्वायर्स सो इन दिस क्लास वी विल फाइंड स्क्वायर ऑफ नाइनटीन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ नाइनटीन and square root of 52 and square root of 154 here i have written some of the squares keep in mind to find the square root of numbers you should know the squares also one square is 1 1 into 1 is 1 two square is 2 into 2 is 4 3 square means 3 into 3 is equal to 9 here i have written 10 squares but you should know at least up to 50 squares here students some students may do mistakes 3 square means some students are doing mistake 3 square they are thinking it is 6 3 to the 6 they are saying 3 square is 6 it is not correct students 3 square means you have to multiply 3 two times that is the meaning of 3 square 3 into 3 3 3 is a 9 suppose if it is 3 cube it means you have to multiply 3 3 times it doesn't mean 3 3 is a 9 3 cube means you have to multiply 3 3 times 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 this will be your answer student like if power is 4 then you have to multiply 3 4 times any number student okay 6 cube you have to multiply 6 3 times 6 square you have to multiply 6 2 times it doesn't mean 6 to the 12 it means you have to multiply 6 2 times 6 6 the 36 that is square of 6 student let's solve these problems let's find the root of 19 52 and 154 before starting i want to show you something if it is under root of 4 4 is a perfect square student 4 is a perfect square you can see it is square of 2 so i can directly write under root of 4 as 2 this is the answer of root 4 if it is root 16 this is also perfect square student 16 is square of 4 student so i can write under root 16 is equal to 4 directly like under root 25 this is square of 5 so answer will be 5 and suppose under root 81 this is this is also perfect square you can see 81 is square of 9 so i can write directly 9 but here 19 is not a perfect square 52 is not a perfect square 154 is also not a perfect square let's see if it is not a perfect square how to find the root let's start we we'll start from under root 19 student under root 19 we are finding root of 19 under root 19 okay first step student you have to see which is the perfect square which is near to 19 the perfect square which is near to 19 is 16 also keep in mind we have to use the perfect square which is nearest and less than the number which is not perfect square it should be less than the number which is not perfect square the number which is near and less than this number is 16 student square of 4 we have to write like this 4 4s a 16 4 4s a 
Now we have to subtract these two numbers. 19 minus 16 is 3 student. 19 minus 16 is 3. Now next step is write this 4 one more time. Write this 4 one more time then add it. Add it. 4 plus 4 8. Now 3 is not a multiple of 8. So it is not divisible by 8. If it is not divisible by 8 student then we have to take point here and we have to add two zeros to it two zeros to it this is the method of finding root you have to add two zeros normally you, after taking point we add one zero but here in finding root of any number we can add two zeros or we have to add two zeros now we have to take any number we have to add take any number beside this number I can make this 81 by taking 1 I have to multiply that one add 1 here okay then multiply that number add one number here then multiply with same number below it and it should be when you multiply that number it should be near to 300 student near and less than 300 <clears throat> suppose if I multi uh, add one number beside 8 as 81 ok then I have to multiply with 1 only 1 into 1 1 1 into 8 81 so that is not nearest the nearest number will be more than 81 so what I will do I will try 82 82 into 2 whatever number you are taking here with the same number you have to multiply 2 to the 4 2 8 the 16 let's check 83 83 into 3 3 3 is a 9 3 8 is a 24 I am getting 249 Let's check 84 student. 4 4 is a 16. Carry 1. 4 8 is a 32 plus 1. 33. So we are getting here 336 by multiplying by 4. So <coughs> by multiplying by 4 we are getting 336. So this number we cannot take here. As I said, number should be nearest and less than this number. So nearest and less than this 300 is 249. I have to write 3 here, also here and this 3 has to be written here also. Now multiply this number. 3 into 83 is 249 that has to be written here student now we have to add these numbers and we have to subtract these numbers keep in mind when you subtract 300 and 249 you will get 51 now add these numbers 3 plus 3 is 6 and this 8 as it is now I have taken already point so I can add two zeros we have taken already point I can add two zeros now again we have to try by taking one here one here when you multiply you will get 861 it is not nearest we have to check the nearest multiply by two multiply by three like this we have to try if I multiply by 4, let's see what will happen. 4 for the 16, carry 1. Sorry. 86. In Then we have to take 4 here, 4 here. 4 for the 16. 16, carry 1. 
देन फोर सिक्स आर ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस वन ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव देन कैरी टू फोर एट्स आर थर्टी टू थर्टी टू प्लस टू थर्टी फोर वी आर गेटिंग थ्री थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स लेट्स चेक फाइव 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 आर ट्वेंटी फाइव देन टू हियर फाइव सिक्स आर थर्टी थर्टी प्लस टू थर्टी टू टू हियर एंड कैरी थ्री फाइव एट आर फोर्टी फोर्टी देन प्लस थ्री फोर्टी थ्री I am getting four three two five. It means if I multiply by six, what will happen? I will get number more than fifty one hundred. So we have to take this number now. I have to add one number. I have to increase here, and we have to multiply with the same number. When you multiply, you will get. It is here four three. Two five and this five we have to add here also. When you subtract, you will get seven seven five. So this is the uh, remainder and this is our answer, student. We have to find up to at least up to two digits. i am not adding it we have to add if if we want to find the third number then we have to add two zeros also but at least we have to find after point two digits up to two digits we have to find so we find out so i am not finding the i am not solving further under root 19 is 4.35 this is our answer string for under root 19 let's solve under root 52 now student again first step is we have to check which number square is nearest and less than 52 we can see here the number which is nearest and less than 52 is 49 and 8 square is 64 student it is greater than 52 so we cannot take this one we can take 49 which is square of 7 7 7s are 7 7s are 49 now we have to multiply and write here then here we have to add it and 7 we have to write here also 7 7s are 49 and one more time we have to write 7 as we have written here also one more time we have to write 4 now subtract it 52 minus 49 will be 3 how it is if you have doubt i am explaining in detail take one we cannot subtract 2 and 9 so borrow one from 5 it will become 12 so 12 minus 9 is 3 here remaining 4 after taking after borrowing one from here to this number 4 minus 4 is 0 this number is 3 Now seven plus seven is fourteen. Student, now I cannot divide three by fourteen, so I have to add, take point here and increase two zeros, as we have done here also. Now we have to check by increase one and by multiplying with same number. i will get 141 which is not nearest if i multiply by 2 i will get 2 to the 4 2 8 za 2 uh, 2 4 za 8 2 1 za 2 it's look like nearest let's see 
इंक्रीज टू हियर एंड मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई टू 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 ज फोर टू फोर ज एट टू वन ज टू दिस इज द नियरेस्ट इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई बाई थ्री देन इट विल बी मोर देन थ्री हंड्रेड सो वी हैव टू टेक टू ओनली नाउ देन दिस टू हैज टू बी रिटर्न हियर ऑल्सो Now subtract it. Borrow one here from three. It will become ten. Then borrow one here. It will become ten. This will become nine. This will become two. Ten minus four is six. Nine minus eight is one. Two minus two is zero. This number is sixteen. Now, as I said, we have to add here these numbers. Two plus two is four. and this 4 will be as it is 1 will be as it is now let's see which number we can take here first we have to add two zeros because we have already taken points so we can add two zeros students now by taking two student what will happen Two ones are two. This number will be more than sixteen hundred. So we can take one here, student. Increase one and multiply by one only. If I take two, it will be more than sixteen hundred. So when you multiply this number by one, and we have to add one here also. Whichever number you are multiplying, that number come here also. Keep in mind. One into this number will be same as it is. Now, take borrow one from here. This number will become ten. This will be five, and then again borrow one from here because I cannot subtract zero and one. This number will become ten, and this number will become nine. Ten minus one is. Ten minus one is nine, student. Then here we have nine. Nine minus four is five. Then here you have five. Five minus four is one, student. Now one minus one is zero. This is the remainder. This is called remainder. Our answer is seven point. Two one answer is seven point two one under root fifty two is seven point two one. This is our answer. Student, I am giving one forty fifty four in homework. If you got the answer, it's okay. Otherwise, if you are not getting, if you are not getting. Answer of one fifty four. Then I will take one more class and I will show you how to find the value of one fifty four. How to find root of one fifty four. I hope you understood these two questions. If you have any doubt, you can write in the comment section. And uh, he, homework is also you have to solve these two questions five five times. You have to solve these two question. Five times and under root one fifty four solve one time. If you are getting right answer, then you can solve this question also five times. Otherwise, in the next class, I will show you how to get answer of one how to find under root one fifty four. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel Tech Mathematics.